In this video, I will compare Flutterflow versus Android Studio. So in my opinion, one of them is better for beginners and the other one is better if you know how to code and you want to build something yourself. And I'll just explain why most beginners should actually go with Flutterflow. And if you know how to code, you should go with Android Studio. So if you want to learn how to build an app or actually start building an app and it's your first time, then Flutterflow may be good for you. However, if you already know how to code, and even if it is your first app, you should still go with Android Studio, despite Flutterflow being easier and faster. Now, the reason for that is that with Android Studio, you're really learning how to build your own app. While with Flutterflow, it's more of a drag and drop builder, as you can see here, with very little code. While with Android Studio, you're actually coding the entire app yourself. Now, if you're learning how to build apps in order to actually get a job later, then you should 100% go with Android Studio because Flutterflow is not really used by the bigger companies that are actually building big apps. They will be working with code and you should be too if you are looking to get into that industry. But if you're just looking to build a simple app for yourself, and it's more of a project that you want to do where you want to build an app either for mobile or for web and you don't care too much about getting a job and learning how to really code and the really advanced stuff in building apps. If that doesn't matter too much to you, then you could go with Flutterflow. But if you want to get the most customizability and be able to build a really advanced app, then go with Android Studio. Now in terms of debugging, Android Studio is a lot better than Flutterflow. So to give you a quick conclusion, go with Flutterflow if you're a beginner and you just want to build your first app and you just want to build your app and you don't want to do too much coding, maybe a little bit. Maybe you will need to do a little bit of coding, but nowhere near as much as with Android Studio. But if you have experience and you know how to code, then go with Android Studio. Or even if you want to learn how to code, I would also go with Android Studio. It will be a steeper learning curve and it will take you a lot more time. But I think it is the correct way to go about it if you want to learn it properly. So that concludes this comparison of Flutterflow versus Android Studio. If this comparison was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.